Nola Gent here at Margie's Grill. Great stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we're in the mid-city neighborhood of New Orleans as first we feast with me on some Asian-influenced food at Margie's Grill that is known for offering flavors inspired by the bar food of Vietnam, Laos, and Thailand. Margie's Grill opened up back in 2016 and is located at 320 South Broad Street, which is about eight minutes and two miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. So join me for my first visit to this restaurant to feast on this Southeast Asian inspired food in our restaurant review video. They do have a back patio area here. Although it's so hot these days, not a lot of people want to sit back there. So most people are crammed inside during these hotter summer times that we're going through right now. So we're going to go ahead and walk up this ramp here and head on inside and check this place out. This is my first visit here and I'm very curious to see what it looks like inside here and it looks like it's just one big main dining room and there's a lot more people in here than I thought there would be so wow you couldn't tell it was this crowded just from the outside. So they have this kitchen area here on the left and this long hallway and this is where I'm going to be seated. So you see I've got a nice little setup here with a nice little tray on the side here. It has a vintage design and then we have a whole lot of menus. So we start off with the pour of the day, putting on the spritz, an effervescent juicy sip of summer in a glass. It's a no-brainer winky face. Then we have Thicker Thursday with honey butter duck breast, fatty duck grilled over glowing coals, served with a shaved veggie salad, fresh herbs, toasted rice powder, and wok chom. Slow smoked pork chow, smoked over oak and rubbed with chili and garlic, served sliced with herb wraps and a Thai chili dipping sauce. Then we've got a more complicated menu. It's like a trap. It's all folded up with different things on each side. Okay, so we have wine time here. So we start off with a selection of by the glass options with a sparkling, a white, an orange, a red, a fortified, and sake. Then we have Mag, one and a half liter Big Boy. And join us for Mag Monday, 25% off all Magnums every Monday night. And then we have bottles of wine divided up under sparkles, white, pink and orange, and red. And this looks like it was the front of this adult beverage menu that I just skipped to the back of first. Oh well. On the other side, we have the Kitten Club with a selection of iced tea, Coke, Sprite, ginger ale, lemon, or orange Pellegrino, ginger beer, grapefruit, soda, tonic, or bubbly water, brewskis with beer lyle, skater aid, juice for a cucumber lime, ghost, pollen, or grapefruit. Then we have specialty cocktails with Salad Day, Zoom Bloom, Yard Bird, Cat Got Your Tongue, Hypnotic Jungle, South Broad. Then we have setups, a New Orleans classic, 200 milliliter bottle of liquor and a bucket of ice, and a mixer of your choice that's real steel. So we have Cathead Vodka, Tanqueray Gin, Benchmark Bourbon, Red Campero, Espadin, and Spritz It Up, your choice for an aperitivo with an assortment of seasonal garnishes, mixers or Sprite or Coke, Ginger Ale, Ginger Beer, Grapefruit Soda, Lemon Pellegrino, Orange Pellegrino, Tonic and Bubbly Water. For both this, Sake and Souza, an adult juice box of Lucky Dog Sake and a chill shot of Souza. Cucumber, Lime, Ghost, and Aquavit, a fun funky combo of dill, caraway, key lime, cucumber, and salt. Okay, that's a lot of drink options. Now let's look at the food menu here now. We highly encourage you to order family style for the table. All items are a la carte and come out as they're ready. So don't be scared to order a bunch of everything and share it all. Please inform us of any allergies or dietary restrictions. Get it rolling. Fresh pork crackling, crispy pork knuckles, charred shishito peppers, charcoal grilled okra, crispy lake shrimp hong men, let's chill crab and watermelon, cantaloupe and cucumber som tam, creole tomatoes. On the other section, we have Let Us Feed You for parties of six or more. We'll send you a family style feast for this evening's favorites. $40 per head, dessert upon request. The Goods, Oak Smoke Creekstone Beef Cheek, Chili Butter Jumbo Shrimp, Charcoal Grilled Sheep's Head, Coal Roasted Mushrooms, Wood Roasted Eggplant, Sides Coal Roasted Sweet Potato, Smothered Sweet Corn, Buttered Cornbread, Market Pickles, Steam Louisiana Rice. Okay, so after looking at the menu, I'm a little grumpy because I specifically came tonight because I looked at their website and their website says our menu changes daily, so please check out the website before ordering. And when I looked at it, it listed my favorite Vietnamese dish, which they didn't have. The menu was totally different, so I guess they didn't update the menu for the night that I came. And I'm a little upset. My 
dish that I love is not here tonight. So from the choices available on the menu tonight, I was torn between the sheep's head fish and the beef cheeks. So I decided to go with the beef cheeks and for my side, I went with the cold roasted sweet potato. Okay, let's make the best of the situation and dig in. Ah, this looks good, but I don't think it's going to be a fair comparison because I've been so spoiled by Gonzo Smokehouse Beef Cheeks. Alright, so these are good beef cheeks. They're just not as good as Gonzo Smokehouse Just Amazing Beef Cheeks. So, a good plate of meat's always a good thing, though. Although, I gotta say, I'm still missing my Bola Lot, which is my favorite Vietnamese dish that's just an amazing combination of flavors with some delicious grilled beef wrapped in beetle leaves. It all just goes together to make for mmm, very good stuff. Now I do have my beef cheeks with some kind of leaves here. It's just not quite the same thing, so it's not exactly what I was hoping for. Ah, but you know, a plate of meat is still a plate of meat, and it's always much better than any vegetarian or vegan dish to me, as I'm quite a carnivore. I'm a caveman that has to have his protein. I just feel way better when I eat lots of protein. Now, I do love some vegetables, as long as they're with a big plate of meat, you know? I've got to have my uh, food groups from all the different areas. I love seafood as well, you know? So it's good to have seafood, meat, and vegetables. Do all those food groups. Yeah. I get a little grumpy, though, if I just get a plate of uh, beans, a plate of just rice. Yeah. Not, not my happiest times. But, you know, some food's better than no food. But my optimum optimating functions work best with high quality good beef like this. Good cuts of meat, oh yeah. So it looks like I've made pretty darn good significant progress in uh, putting a lot of this food down here. So it has gone down very easily. And it's got some decent flavors going on in here with this combination of all these other items around here. And it's got some nice chewy, chewy components of the vegetable parts mixed in with the meat parts. And it all combines for an overall pretty decent flavor. Now, I thought the meat might be just a little bit more juicy than it's coming off as. So I'm not quite sure how they cooked it. It looks like there were uh, probably some grill times involved at some level that charred the outside. Not sure if they did any other preparation with it. Uh, it seems like overall it's a pretty simple, easy preparation, I think, that's uh, given it some good, uh, honest flavors overall. There's nothing out of the ordinary for the most part. It's uh, just some good basic food. So it's gone down pretty darn quick and easy, and it's been a decent meal overall. So it's not my Gonzo Smokehouse Beef Cheeks by any means, which those are hard to beat anywhere in the world, but here we go with my last bite. So, just like I've destroyed these beef cheeks, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about these beef cheeks. And while you're down there in the comment section, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Now it's time to eat this coal roasted sweet potato. And uh, I'm trying to consider all the sweet potatoes I've had and I do not believe I've ever had a coal roasted sweet potato that I am aware of. It's possible, I'm just not remembering, but as far as I can recall, this might be my first experience with a coal roasted sweet potato. Um, I have to say overall, it needs a little more cooking time. This is not quite cooked all the way to the degree that I would like it. It needs a little more time, so the coal needs to be stoked up a little hotter as it's not quite to the level done that I like mine. It's still edible, it's just still a little less fluffy and uh, easy to eat than I typically like my sweet potatoes that I throw in the oven and cook. So uh, they might need to increase the cook time, turn up the heat, do something. Uh, it's still a good sweet potato. I do enjoy sweet potatoes all the time. They make me feel nice and happy all over as there's just so many good vitamins in here. I actually really prefer the flavor of a sweet potato over a regular potato for the most part. Although if you give me a crawfish boil potato, that might be a hard contest. Now the uh, overall uh, experience of this potato is, uh, oh, on a scale of one to 10, I think I'd have to give it about a four. Um, no butter, no other things to put on here like molasses or seasonings like cinnamon or nutmeg. They could have bling blinged it up a little bit more. 
and certainly the consistency, in my opinion, needs a little bit more cook time. So just like I've destroyed the sweet potato, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below and let me know what you thought about this sweet potato. And while you're down there in the comment section, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total was $37.45 before tip. So if I was going to rank my meal tonight, say in a scale of 1 to 10, I think I would be pretty generous to say a 5. Uh, the things that I had to eat tonight, I could have all just cut myself at home for a whole lot less money. So it wasn't like it was an extra special experience to me. Uh, so maybe to other people, this is a cool, groovy, hipster kind of joint that has a nifty vibe. Uh, you know, it's, um, overall, I, I don't know if I would want to come back from my experience as a solo diner. I could see maybe if you're eating here with a group of people, it could be a lot more fun. You'd have more options to choose from. As a solo diner, I found it sort of a mediocre experience and not a great value for me. While the family dining style option here seems to be the overall best approach to enjoying the food here, I believe. So do that if you're coming here. So thanks so much to everybody at Margie's Grill for an interesting experience and thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. And would you kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would be interested and tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.